Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we are going to take a look at how you can debug TypeScript with the built-in debugger of Visual Studio Code. So let's get going. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code and I've set up a very simple TypeScript project. I've set up an index.html file which is just a web page saying hello world and it includes my test.js file, uh, which will be generated from this TypeScript file. And this contains a class called simple counter with one method, that's the count method. And it just counts from one to seven. And then it writes these numbers out uh, onto my web page. So let's take a look at how we can debug this TypeScript file. How can we set breakpoints? And how can we then actually use these breakpoints when debugging this web page uh, in Chrome? Now, when we want to debug with Chrome, we need the Chrome extension. We need the Chrome debugger extension. So I'm going to go to the extensions here and I'm going to search for Chrome. And I'm going to install the debugger for Chrome extension. So I'm going to hit install. And now it's going to prompt me to reload Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to do that right now. Reload window. Okay, and we're back in business. So now I'm going to open up the debugger, which is this little icon right here. And it says that I have no configurations uh, available. So I'm going to add one right now. And this is going to ask me which type of configuration I want. Now, there are a lot of Node.js debug configurations preloaded, uh, but I'm more interested in debugging this in Chrome. So I'm going to select Chrome, hit enter. We can give this a name. We're going to leave it just by default, which is launch Chrome. We can set the URL of our project and the web root. Now we can leave the web root as is, but we need to change the URL. Now, if you already have a development server running on your Mac, that could be MAMP or MAMP Pro, then you can change this URL to the URL that you've assigned to your project. However, I haven't done that. So I'm just going to use HTTP server that is a node package to set up a web server that uses my project as its root. So I'm going to do that quickly right now. And I'm going to just run HTTP server and this will set up a server at localhost on port 8080. So just keep in mind to change your URL to the URL of your project of your local development environment. So in my case, localhost double point 8080, that is correct. So I'm going to save this configuration. And then there's one more thing that we need to do. We need to go to our TS config file. And this file describes to the TypeScript compiler what it should do. So in this case, we say that it needs to compile it to ECMAScript 5. But now for debugging, Chrome actually doesn't understand TypeScript files. It can only run JavaScript files. So in order for Chrome to also understand TypeScript, we need to generate source code maps. And we can just ask the TypeScript compiler to do that. So I'm going to add a property here. And that's going to be source map. And we're just going to set that to true. So that will tell Chrome how to handle our TypeScript files. And if there are errors, it will actually point to the line numbers of our TypeScript file and not to the line numbers in the generated JavaScript file. So let's now open up the terminal again, I'm going to open up a new session. And I'm just going to run the TypeScript compiler. And once that finished, you'll notice that it creates a JS file and a JS.map file. That's our compiled source code. This one will be executed in the browser. Now let's open up our TypeScript file again. And let's say I want to put a breakpoint at this line. I want to see what happens when we actually write something to the document. So I'm going to click in the gutter here to set this breakpoint. And then we're ready to start debugging. So I'm going to open up the debugger again. And I'm going to select my configuration. So in our case, it's launch Chrome. And I'm just going to hit the play button. And this will open up Chrome and start a debugging session. So if I go to my doc here, you'll see that it has created a new instance of Chrome with a random profile. And there is our project. It's hello world one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is what our JavaScript code generates. Now, 
notice that it didn't break on our breakpoint. And that's, this is actually an issue with Visual Studio Code and the Chrome debugger. You actually have to rerun it once. So we're gonna click this restart icon. And now when we rerun it, we run into this breakpoint. So if I open up Chrome, notice that it says just hello world and it hasn't counted from one to seven. Instead, it says paused in Visual Studio Code. So I can now go back and here in the variable section, I can see the value of each variable. So I can see that this variable now points to simple counter. I can see that the count variable equals five, which is the same one that we set here. And I can see that this point I equals one. And now I can run through my code step by step. So if I click on this icon, it's step into, I can move forward one instruction. So now I'm at this line, I'm at our for loop. So if I click next again, you can see that we're at the second iteration and I equals now two, and it is now breaking uh, on this line still. So if I go to Chrome, you can see that it's written one and it is getting ready to write uh, two. So I can step to the code again. Now we're at this line. And if I open up Chrome, you see this line hasn't been executed yet. So there's no two. And when I execute it and I go back to Chrome, Boom, there is my two. So this is a really easy way to run through your code step by step to see what the values of your variables are and debug any problems that you have with your code. So that was it for this video. Definitely check out the rest of this series if you wanna learn more about TypeScript. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.